First thing before putting our big boy here, we need to put those studs in here. I just got those studs. If you're interested, they are M10-125. There's a certain size here that you can fit this on the bottom and it bottoms out. Our turbo goes right on top of it. So that's gonna be perfect. I also got, I got those at Ace Hardware Store. I might put a link here in the description if I find on Amazon, uh, just so you use as a reference. But then uh, once the turbo goes in here, we're gonna use one of those pressure washers and one of those nuts. Um, I choose this nut here that has this little uh, base because when you get the socket and you put this on top of the socket it doesn't go inside the socket so it's kind of great and it has more area of contact so this is going to be great I think it's better they did not have four of those for some reason so what I did I had two left from this guy here because they sent only four I used two and I still have two so I'm gonna put uh, those two here this is a little bit different, but it's still M10-125 and it's gonna, it's gonna do my my trick. And this actually goes to, uh, I'm gonna put this one in here. Let's try uh, to put the turbo in here. See how it is. Oh yes, it works. Uh, yeah, that's good. So now the downpipe, closer so the downpipe if you look here is going to need to either go straight and down or go a little bit to the side I'm not sure if there is the one I saw online is gonna go work we also need to rotate this uh, so we're going to I'm gonna put this in my bench we're gonna remove those bolts in here and we're gonna rotate this all the way down this way the oil return i might need to rotate this too because it's kind of um if you see here it's kind of pointing that way and the oil return is going that way i want the oil return as far as it can from the exhaust because uh i already had problems on my eclipse so and it's not a long travel it's just going from here to here and the oil feed on the other hand it's always like that the oil feed is always coming from the other side so this is the oil pressure so i might be able to remove this guy and feed from here i'll have a look and see if there's any other spot i can feed from but uh yeah and once we open this let's also measure so the next step is we're going to get a 13 millimeter and we're going to open this guy. I don't want to go to the wrong side. There you go. Broke it loose. So now we just remove this carefully so we don't damage the this guys here uh, it looks pretty good inside I've seen uh, people complaining about eBay turbos I don't know if it's Rev9 or not um, complaining about being all scratched inside it's a little scratched in here but I mean this is not scratched at all so yeah so far so good it's balanced, I can see here. Usually I can see on the nut, uh, but I can see a tiny bit on the nut, but it's, it's actually balanced down here. So we're gonna measure the uh, inducer and exducer. So this is the math we're going to use. Inducer square divided by exducer square times 100, okay? Uh, so we're gonna get this guy. And let's change to millimeters. So we get the two top ones, the very top, touching there, 5801, 5802, okay? So that's the top, which is the inducer, 5801. So I'm gonna do here, 58.01 square. Now we're gonna get the exducer. 
and boom 76 20 so 76 20 times 100 so let's see what this is all right so this math is 58 58 57.9 which is 58 um, I was looking to the uh, the description of the product when I bought it and it says the compressor has the inducer of 58 which is 5801 which is great and the exducer is 76 which is 76.2 so so far I have no complaints I guess uh, it was what they promised and to be very honest I was going to buy a little I mean exactly what I wanted which was a little over 74 but I thought that was too dangerous because I saw everybody measuring and they were measuring less so my case I measure exactly the same what they advertise so of course my my uh, my caliper where is that thing here uh, it might be like off you know few decimals not even decimals but uh, it was just a little bit so I, I would assume that it is correct so uh, yeah all good here I'm taking the hot side bolts out uh, because I I, won't, I need to rotate a little bit and you know since I'm gonna open anyway uh, we might take it all the way and measure and see how the inducer and exducer are uh, the inducer and exducer on the hot side they are the other way around so whatever the air goes in is the inducer not the smaller side all right so boom it is out uh, okay I'm gonna set this in here so this is the hot side there's a cold side I'm just gonna set this guy here so he doesn't damage anything and let's go measure we're gonna measure and calculate so inducer is the bottom which is 70.89 could be 70.85 oh I'm gonna write that down 70.85 and the top part is 61.82 inducer exducer 61.82 okay so the description in here says the exhaust is 62 and 70 which is 61 and 61.8 and 70.85 so yeah pretty close I'm gonna calculate because it says that is uh, 0.84 just gonna calculate to be sure okay by my calculation this is a 76.1 not 84 um, I mean for more of my application I think this is fine because uh, I need a quick boost quicker uh, and you know um, I think uh, this is gonna do the trick I am not sure if I'm calculating correctly but um, I think I am and I just read that inducer is where the air comes in so on the cold side is the smaller side exducer is the, the uh, larger side and then it goes to the hot side the inducer is the larger side which is the bottom and the exducer is the top if I am um, if I have a, a 76 70 whatever I said here um, yeah 76 I'm good at that the other thing is I put the exducer first divided by inducer because otherwise the calculation gave me 130 um, so that's another thing if you know how to calculate this properly put it here in the description but uh, this matches what they said in the description of the product saying that it was 62 and 70 for the exhaust for the uh, the compressor 
um, and the turbine it was uh, 58 and 76 which is right on so yeah have no complaints so we're gonna put this together um, yeah no major anything this looks great to me quality looks great uh, looks like that is balanced okay so you're just gonna do everything on the reverse order so let's go slowly so we don't break our turbo thingy so before I tight this thing too much I'm gonna go to the engine and put this here and just be sure that the oil return has enough angle for me um, to do what I want to do so that's it and this is my oil return I think I can move a tiny bit more uh, to the outside because it's still this is 90 45 I think till 45 or 30 degrees is all right so I can do a tiny tiny bit more yeah and if something happens I can I can always uh, revert but I'm gonna tight a few of them take out of here so I can tighten it better on my bench okay so code side hot side is good now code side so we're gonna do we're gonna put this carefully in there uh, I'm gonna put one of those plates I should actually uh, flip it over because it's gonna be easier like this is fine I just want to put them in place uh, cannot tie the crap out of it in here because this is aluminum uh, this is cast iron so it's kind of right might break the bolt in there but it won't screw in uh, the housing so the other thing is this is a half inch not a 13 millimeter 13 millimeter will work but it is a half inch so nice so it can go down because it's gonna hit it I'm um, not sure if I'll have space like that so I'm gonna put like this and I'm gonna tie it like probably a couple of them and what this is going to do actually I can put a little further and I can put like a elbow and just go straight down and nice and tight what I'm gonna do is tight as much as I can my hands in a short wrench and that's gonna be it so one thing you can forget is to put the uh, gasket I have this gasket that came with the kit um, they are not the best ones because if you don't tight very well or you get loose eventually it burns all the way and then you have a huge leak um, that happened to me on my Eclipse actually no I didn't save it there are metal ones that you just put them there and I mean if you have a leak you're gonna have anyway in your engine but at least it doesn't disintegrate I might put some Loctite on those guys here I don't know if they get cooked but you know better than nothing so I'll put Loctite on those guys I'm gonna put the turbo I'm not gonna to torque all the way but I'm just gonna show you how it looks how it's gonna be nice look at that baby all right so my goal for today was to open the um, the turbine the compressor uh, measure those things because I've never done before uh, just be sure that I bought the right thing um, it was also rotated so I can have it properly done when uh, time comes so it is beautiful I didn't type this all the way I just put in here so we can see how it looks uh, looks awesome look at that this is amazing this is gonna be so wild it's gonna be a wicked car uh, I guess uh, my next steps would be to um, 
start removing all of this out of here. So I gotta find the spots where I need to lift, bring my uh, uh, cherry picker here so I can, um, you know, support the car, put my jack underneath so I can get under and do all this stuff. Subscribe to my channel, there's a lot to come. I keep saying the same, same, same thing in every single video, but you know, uh, some people are new and they don't know, they are just, um, it could be you, you're just reaching this video and you know, you don't know there's that there, there's a lot more that I've done and that I'm doing. So, uh, I really hope this video helps you somehow. Leave a little thumbs up, a little comment, share with your friends, share in groups, Facebook groups, uh, you know, bunch of uh, a bunch of other apps, uh, Tumblr, and anyway, um, I really appreciate all the support you guys been giving me. Um, that's gonna be awesome to have this thing done. And check out my store www.carmodsgarage.com. Um, leave a little comment here. Should I start selling parts? Um, it's like oil line that I had on my Eclipse or some stuff that I've been been doing here um, should I try to find a way to sell on my store or nope and I really appreciate you guys watching this stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you on the next one